Hello, I'm Ben Burnett. And I'm Taylor Dutton. And we're your hosts for The Rock this week. Ben, you're so good looking, I swear that I'm seeing the reflection of myself. You might think you're seeing devil, my friend, but I'm not your twin. Speaking of twins, we have a lot of those at AHS. Check out this segment about the two of them. Twins. Born on the same day, kinda act the same way. Twins. 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 Share the same brain waves, often have the same fame. Twins. 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 I'm Mikkel. I'm Alon, and we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my name is Milan, and that is a city in Italy, the, um, basically it's kind of like the fashion central of Europe, and um, I guess my mom gave it to me because she's Italian and her mom is Italian, and she was born in Italy, so I don't know, we're all big on like Italy, so, and Mikkel's like, uh, my name um, made up. <laughs> Pretty much. Just to fit mine. That. To fit um, mine. <laughs> well, yeah, they. <laughs> to fit yours. They want, my mom wanted our names to have five letters each, so she wanted to keep it similar. And they know, all want, she wanted them to emphasize start with the M. twin thing. <laughs> so, like, yeah, so that's why it's Mikkel. A lot of people, you know, mistaken it for Michael or. Or even Mikkel. mine, like, Melon. Melon? Like, it's been Melon. Melon, Mylon. And I don't know how they would get yours wrong, but. I mean, usually in the morning we're really cranky, so like, I don't know, we just don't get along at that time. And then, like, like on the weekends, she'll be studying like 24 7, and I want to go outside and play that was in the like sun. one weekend. No, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, well, there's. And she'll just be like studying like over the top, yeah, well, and I'm just like, I guess I'm a little more chill. And that's I just, why like, I have, have A's and color. I have A's too, and I don't do like half hey, as much last studying. Last time as I you. heard you had a B. I just love that we're, we always have a friend. Like, yeah, always a friend. Even and though can, like we file out, that's a part of being yeah, like, like you can't, sisters in general. Like, like I can't, you know, get mad at somebody. Like I can get out. Mad yeah, at like, like, like I can tell her like it is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I you can, can tell, tell her, her the truth. Like, it is. like in tennis, like let's say we're playing doubles. Like I don't want to yell at the other person, so but, I'll just yeah, yell at can, her because yeah. I can yell at her. Or I can. Yell she at knows you. that. She knows <laughs> that it won't hurt her feelings. Oh. Well, that was nice. Yeah, it was. You know what else is nice? What's that, my friend? The weather outside. It's perfect for outdoor activities like wakeboarding. Whoa, man, that, that sounds totally cool. Roll segment. What up? My name's Trent Swiger. My name's Dylan Boysenow, and I've been wakeboarding for three years. My name's Tyler Thompson, and I've been wakeboarding for six years. I'm Logan Tweeter. I've been wakeboarding about four times. I first started wakeboarding when um, we bought a boat, and uh, the next thing to do was buy the wakeboard. When I first heard about wakeboarding, I uh, heard about it on the streets, picked it up. My dad took me out, tried it with friends, whatnot. My uncles used to do it in, like, in Richland where my grandparents live. I like wakeboarding because it's really similar to a lot of other sports I do, but something that's different about wakeboarding is there's always a perfect jump for you and you can do it in any weather. 
How was it? <sighs> My face hurts. Well, that just makes me want to go to the lake. Oh, yeah. Have you ever wanted to know more about your teachers, Ben? Well, yeah. I have been curious. Then we should probably watch the teacher game show. That sounds all right. Hello and welcome to the Teacher Game Show, live from Studio 122. I'm your host, Tyler Thompson. Today we have with you Ms. the honored Miss Feist. How are you doing, Miss Feist? I'm doing very well, thank you, Tyler. Excellent. Our contestants are Alan Litton, Amanda Reyna, and Austin Eby. The rules of the game are simple. Answer the questions correctly to win your spot back for the next installment of the Teacher Game Show. Students, let's begin. Question number one. What is Ms. Feist's favorite sports team? Amanda. Um, the Cougars? Is that right? No, that's not right. Alan, you get a unicorn. Question number two. In what city and hospital was Ms. Feist born in, and who was the other teacher that was born ten days later in the same hospital? Um... Uh, Vancouver, Washington. <laughs> That's it. Mr. Perkins. And Mr. Perkins. Is that right? No, it was Seattle and it was Mr. Pringle. Hmm. Sorry. Amanda, you get a donkey. And question number three Who is Mrs. Feist's prom dates this year? Alan. Matt Welliver and Mr. Bungan. Is that right? That's right! Fantastic! Looks like Austin. You get a donkey as well. So, we have a three way tie for the tiebreaker. What would Miss Feist's dream date look like, and who would it be with? Yes, Amanda. Um. Uh, a unicorn? Is that right? No, that's not correct. I'm sorry. Well, Austin, you win. Well, that's all the time we have today. Congratulations to our winner, Austin Eby. And the rest of you, and you, we will see you tomorrow. Nope, sorry, next week on the next installment of The Teacher Game Show. Well, that was very interesting. Oh, yeah. So all you seniors out there, there's just a reminder that senior interview makeups are right now. That's right, in Mr. Thompson's room, room, <coughs> room 122. Well, that's all you have for you, HDS. From our rock to yours, you can, you can check, check us out. out.